Oh, so hi, Katie here. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, it's been a couple of weeks since my last um, video, and um, I, um, a few things have changed. Um, I mean, first of all, with me, I've been kind of up and down emotionally, so that hasn't changed. But um, I actually, um, I actually sort of, I've noticed some fat on my hips, which is good. Um, so, um, and I also noticed as well, I dropped a, um, I've been on, on hormones for about a year now, so near enough. So, um, and I noticed that I'd actually, um, oh God, my hair's in a mess. <laughs> my hair's always in a mess. But um, I noticed that I'd actually um, dropped a dress size. Um, and I thought, well, oh, if I put on weight, because I've been on a diet, I couldn't understand why I dropped a dress size. And um, when I, um, and then I kind of figured out then that it was the fact that my hips have actually um, widened and my sort of bums got bigger as well. So, um, yeah, so that's one thing that's happened. And, um, uh, and of course, the other big thing was the um, government announcement on the um, Gender Recognition Act uh, reforms or the proposed promised Gender Recognition Act reforms. And... Um, um, unfortunately, they're scrapping the reforms and um, also um, they're not recognising non-binary people either. Um, so they're completely... I had a feeling they would do that because they didn't actually... Um, when um, uh, Chris... Chris... Kane? Chris... Chris Kane? Somebody... Uh, yeah... Um, a non-binary um, person took the um, government to court um, asking, you, you know, if they could actually, um, because they wouldn't allow X on um, their passport. And um, unfortunately, the government um, kind of said that they weren't going to allow an X option in addition to male and female on, on the passport. So, um, yeah, so that was quite... That was a blow. That was a couple of months ago, though. But um, now they've actually um, they they're not going to recognise non-binary people at all, which is absolutely terrible. And um, but at the same time, though, there was a case um, a couple of um, well, it was last week. Last week, the damages were awarded on on Friday um, against Jaguar Land Rover and um, some um, and and. Um, so yeah, so that that actually that's actually kind of given some kind of legal precedent to um, protecting non-binary rights at work. But um, unfortunately, the government hasn't um, given any any recognition to uh, non-binary people. So that that's awful, you know. And I mean, especially when other countries have done it. You know, I think the government is just being bloody-minded, really, and they were actually voted in on uh, a sort of alt-right, uh, far-right sort of vote. So they're trying to ingratiate themselves again to the far-right people and the um, right-wing tabloids as well who hate trans people. So, yeah. So anyway, the, the GRA reforms, yeah, they... Um, Liz Truss actually said um, the two things that came out of it are um, Liz Truss said, oh, well, we're going to um, make the uh, cost of getting a gender recognition certificate um, cheaper. So, I mean, the current cost is £140, but I've heard rumours they're actually going to um, reduce it to um, £100. So, I mean, that's still a heck of a lot of money for a lot of people. And, um, I, you know, they call it a nominal amount. But my argument is why do we have to pay to change our, our birth certificates at all? You know, I don't understand. Um, it's like a penalty, really, for being trans. Um, and actually, before 1970, um, trans people could just go in and um, change their birth certificate really easily. But then um, the... Um, there was a, a, a case, I think it was April Ashley versus a kind of aristocrats, and um, he, they, they had a divorce, and the aristocrat, he, um, he managed to get it 
so that April Ashley, so that the marriage wasn't recognised as between a man and a woman. And um, from then on, um, from then on, trans people couldn't change their birth certificates. And um, we, we were all legally the, um, the sex we were born. And um, what that means as well is that um, if any of us want to, um, for instance, uh, get married, um, I mean, if I wanted to get married to, to a man, um, I would still be, it would be classed as a same-sex marriage because I'm not legally, I don't have a gender recognition certificate, so I'm not legally um, female. Um, but my passport reads female, so presumably in a country where um, I, trans people have more rights, um, I would be recognised as female even though my own government doesn't recognise me as female but they issued me a passport with female on it so yeah it just doesn't make sense but and the other thing was they said they were the government have said they're going to build three new gender clinics to cope with the um, help cope with the long waiting times but actually those three gender clinics were already announced in 2019 so they're not new and they're not going to be gender clinics that um so that that, that um, prescribe hormones or sign you off for surgery they're solely going to be um, gender clinics that uh, provide counselling to trans people, and that's it really. You know, so they they, and and I also note notice as well that Liz Truss, um, she hasn't actually outward, you know, outward outright said that she's going to um, ban trans women with um, you know who haven't had surgery from using women's toilets like the tabloid said, but she also reiterated that um, the Equality Act allows for um, trans people to be barred from, you know, women only um, toilets and sort of changing rooms and, and, and kind of, you know, refuges. If the individual running those um, sort of refuges and, and hotels, businesses, etc., um, so decided. So she's actually given the, the green light to um, for employers and businesses to actually discriminate against trans people. So yeah, so it's not good really. Um, and um, it's just what we expected from this government really because they are a bunch of um, far right. Um, they were elected on a far right ticket, you know, and um, Boris just thinks of himself as another Trump, you know, he wants to be a mini-me to Trump. So, yeah, and um, and also Liz Truss, um, she's probably got links to a lot of these transphobic extremist groups because she um, she actually, um, well, the, she actually went to a meeting as a guest of the Heritage Foundation, which is the far right, well it's kind of alt-right American um, sort of um, you know pro-Trump type of organization that believes in kind of it's kind of like homophobic and misogynistic and they're very transphobic as well and they've hosted a lot of um, kind of turf speakers you know like Posey Parker and um, sort of like Megan Murphy and all those sort of people. So they've hosted a lot of them and kind of so yeah, this trust has got links to that organization. And um and to think, you know, that somebody who is a women and equalities minister is actually hobnobbing with an organization like the Heritage Foundation is really, really um you know, it just makes a mockery of um the actual role of um, women and equalities minister and whether that was the government's intention or not I don't know but they're certainly doing a good job to actually turn the role into a joke because she, she you know it, it's I mean it, it's, it's just outrageous it's just a farce and yeah and that's basically what I wanted to say really you know I mean I can't, I can't think of any, anything I, I want to say. Um, I'm just looking down at my notes here. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, Liz Truss um, does not 
agree, does not believe in trans rights. Um, she is um, hostile towards trans people. She's been there, you know, having an interview with Julia Hartley Brewer, who is a right wing, um, a far right wing sort of talk radio uh, presenter. And yeah, it, it's just a joke. This government is, I mean, they're so far right, it, it, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, and the right is mainstream now. It's, it's quite frightening, really. You know, it really is. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to speak about, really. So, yeah, please do tell me what you think of the um, Gender Recognition Act, um, the scrapping of the reforms, and um, because I'd be really interested to know. And, um, yeah, and thank you for watching. And I hope everybody is... is um, kind of well and, and kind of happy um we've gone back into lockdown where i live uh, <laughs> but um yeah i mean i'm still working from home so it's not so bad but yeah and i'm getting groceries delivered at the moment so but um yeah so that's all i wanted to say really so cheerio folks and um love you all bye